Polish troops would never leave Ukraine. Russia is technically prepared for nuclear war. Putin. Any attempt to send Polish troops into Ukraine could end in a long-term occupation. Russian President Vladimir Putin has warned in an extensive interview with Russia One TV broadcaster and Ria Novosti. If Polish troops enter the territory of Ukraine in order to, as they say, secure the Ukrainian-Belarusian border, for example, or in some other places to free up Ukrainian rear military units to participate in hostilities on the front line, then I think that Polish troops will never leave, Putin said, according to excerpts from the interview. The deployment of NATO troops to Ukraine amid the conflict with Russia is not unthinkable, Polish Foreign Minister Radislav Sikorski claimed last week. He was commenting on a statement by French President Emmanuel Macron, who said late last month that he cannot exclude the possibility of soldiers from the US-led military bloc being sent to aid Kiev. Putin believes that Polish officials dream of returning those lands that they consider historically their own and which were taken from them by Joseph Stalin and transferred to Ukraine. They certainly want them back, so if official Polish units enter there, they are unlikely to leave, he claimed. Putin said that Russia is technically prepared for nuclear war and if the US sends troops to Ukraine, it will be seen as a significant escalation of the war. From a military technical point of view, we are ready of course, said the 71-year-old Putin in response to a question about whether the country is truly prepared for nuclear war. Putin said that the US understands that if they deploy troops to Ukrainian territory, Russia will consider this a step toward intervention. In the US, there are enough experts in Russian-American relations and in the field of strategic deterrence. So, I don't think everything is rushing headlong here, but we are ready for this, Putin said. China launched five days of joint military exercises with Russia and Iran in the Indian Ocean, the Chinese Defense Ministry said, against the backdrop of rising armed conflict in the Red Sea. According to South China Morning Post, the ministry said the navies of China, Iran and Russia would hold the maritime security belt. 2024 joint exercise from March 11th to 15th in the waters near the Gulf of Oman in the Indian Ocean. The maritime drills come as tensions are high in the region due to the war. In Gaza and ongoing attacks on vessels in the Red Sea, launched by Iran-backed Houthi rebels, some U.S. officials have previously expressed concern over growing military ties between the three countries. Earlier, former chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff Mark Milley said that China, Russia and Iran would be a problem for many years to come for Washington. It said China sent the 45th Escort Task Force, consisting of the guided missile destroyer Yurumki, the guided missile frigate Lini and the comprehensive supply ship Dongpinghu, to the exercise, aiming to jointly maintain regional maritime security, according to the information, representatives from the navies of Pakistan, Kazakhstan, Azerbaijan, Oman, India and South Africa would act as observers. IL-76 military transport plane crashed in Ivanova region of Russia. The Russian press reported on this. According to the information, the plane tried to land at the Severny airfield, but before reaching there, it crashed in the forest lane. The information was confirmed by the Ministry of Defense of Russia, all 15 people on the plane died during the accident. Eight of them were crew members, seven were passengers. Rescuers are working in the area. According to preliminary information, the cause of the accident was a fire in one of the engines. Все, потушил, молодец. 
Погас. Нет, нет, горит, загорелся Погас. опять. Какой-то дым. Вечерние новости по бас смотреть. Походу самолет бахнулся в Богородском. Жесть. Вертушка там летает. Что-то бахает там, походу, боеприпасное. Да не, нормально. 